Hey again, Remote Pilot 101, Jason here. And we've been talking all throughout this week about the new recurrent test and remote ID. And now we're gonna talk, well, we can now fly over people. Let me explain to you what this really means and break it down into language that somewhat makes sense to you because it's awfully odd how they break this down. They break everything down into four categories and it gets a little bit crazy. Allow me to explain. Category number one, small unmanned aircraft must weigh less than 0.55, including everything on board or otherwise attached and contain no exposed rotating parts that would lacerate human skin. Sounds like a small drone with ducted engines, something you can't, because you gotta think, we're flying over people, this thing falls out of the sky, is it going to hurt somebody, right? There's moving parts, can it lacerate the skin? So they'll be ducted engines. So that would be considered a category one drone. So th that way they can come out with a statement saying, okay, at this event, we're only allowing category one drones to fly over people. And you'd have to know, am I a category one drone? Now things start to get a little bit weird when we get into category two. You ready? Small unmanned aircraft must not cause injury to a human being that is the equivalent to or greater than the severity of injury caused by a transfer of 11 foot pounds of kinetic energy upon impact from a rigid object. Does not contain exposed rotating parts, could last for human skin upon contact with the human being and does not contain any safety defects. It requires FAA accepted means of compliance, FAA accepted declaration of compliance. Like, can we cue the cricket sound? Like what is a 11 foot pounds of kinetic energy? Should I get my E6B flight computer out or, or you know, how do I calculate such a thing? I was on uh, Ken Heron's show Thursday Night Live um, a few weeks ago and he, we were having a great discussion about this and Ken said, Jason, this is the Amazon rule. This is, they put this in there for Amazon. Now, well, I can't confirm nor deny uh, that as such, nor do I truly know that answer. Um, it does seem odd, right? That this is what they're trying to perhaps pave the way, pun intended, for package deliveries. And, change the way our delivery drones actually work and operate. And it continues on here. You can see category three, very similar, just jumps up to 25 foot pounds of kinetic energy upon impact from the same rigid object. And it's just a little bit strange. Category four, uh, we actually get into FAA part 21 regulations, which is essentially airworthiness and compliance. We're talking some big drones, um, big aircraft really, at that point when we get into category Four. So flight over people is going to be possible, again, the next 18 to 30 months. Category one makes sense, right? Probably some ducted engines, but the, gosh, 0 0.55? That's not a whole lot of weight they're actually giving us there. And the other categories start getting more interesting. What's exciting, though, is the FAA is considering this flight over people without a waiver, assuming we fall into one of these four categories and how they actually work. Obviously, more plain English guidance on this is gonna be coming out in the near future. We have 18 to 30 months till any of these rules and regulations truly become final and actually they start taking action on them. What are your thoughts for this flight over people? How are they really going to work and structure this? Leave a comment for me uh, in the comment box below this video. I read every single one of them. Have an amazing, outstanding, blessed day. And most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you.